All right, you guys, so currently it's 5, almost 5.30, 5.40 in the evening. My water broke probably about 30 minutes ago. If you guys um, know, 3 o'clock this morning, my, I lost my mucus plug. I was starting to lose that. I've been losing that all day. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm leaking like crazy. It is the worst, weirdest feeling in the world. Anyway, I was laying in bed, and I like felt like I took a two-hour nap because my kids take a nap at 2, and so I took a nap with them. And I was laying there, and I like felt like this bump. I don't know if it was his head or what, but it was like a sharp pop filling, and I was like, oh, my water broke. I know it did. So I came and peed on the toilet, stopped peeing. Sorry, I'm having a contraction. It's not horrible, but it's so uncomfortable. Oh, sorry, my hair's everywhere. Anyway, I stopped peeing, I got up, the, got up off the toilet, and more started coming out. I was like, I definitely, my water just broke. I know it did. So let's do a belly check really quick before I get out of here to get some McDonald's because they're not going to feed me when I get there. So I'm going to show you guys my dirty shirt, but it's all right. My big old belly. Oh, I'm so ready. I'm nervous. I'm scared. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea. I spent them taking a shower. I got this nursing bra on I'm going to wear during delivery so I won't be half dressed. Well, I'll be half dressed anyway, but pray for me, guys. Everything goes well. Um, I'll show you guys some more when I get to the hospital. Maybe a little bit of my room that I'll be in and what's not and what's going on and I'll see you guys when I get to the hospital. All right, guys. So I just made it to the hospital right now. Um, I'm having contractions pretty strong. My brother keeps texting me. Look at my eyebrows. Ooh, I need to fix those. Anyway, who knows? It's not like my husband said, it's not a fashion show, but um, I'm having contractions pretty nice right now. And, um, I'm nervous. I have to remember not to fight uh, my contractions. I try to go natural without doing epidural. So you guys pray for me. If I do this, it's going to be my third time having a baby without um, anything. I just want it to go nice and smooth. And um, I don't know, guys. It's what time is it? 6.46 now. So. We'll see how this goes. And he's kicking around in there. I can feel him. He's like, it's time to come out, Mommy. So uh, I'm pretty anxious. I tried to eat some french fries from McDonald's. It didn't work out too well. I have a Coke. I was sipping on that. I feel kind of nauseous right now. I think because of my um, nerves and my anxiety is so bad right now. So I forgot my mask at home. So he's going in to see if they have a mask for me. And then I'll be on my way inside. They have to check my water first to make sure I broke my water too. So... We'll go from there and see what happens. Okay, you guys, so I'm in the room and it's currently 7.42. I'm a 2-3 um, dilated. They're waiting for my fluid level, not fluid level, my water. Um, what's it called? Test to come back to see if I'm positive that my water actually broke or not. So I'm just waiting for that to come back and I'm just sitting here chilling in this bed with this monitor on, keeping um, track of the baby's heartbeat. You see my bag over there, my, uh, all my junk. Justin's in the bathroom. And that's just about it for right now. So I'll let you guys know more when, um, when I know more. All right, you guys, so this is kind of weird how the camera is when I'm recording right now. Like if I look this way, like, I don't know. Anyway, so my tests came back for my water. My water did break, so we are going to have a baby. We're going to have a baby. Um, it's 7.58 right now, so we'll see. I said I told him he could be born on the 23rd, so we'll see if he comes on the 23rd. Or he'll come before, if he doesn't, he'll come before midnight, and I'll have a 2 2, two 21 baby. <sighs> but I won't keep you guys and bore you, because I'm going to get ready to have another contraction. I can fill it. You guys want to know what a contraction feels like for those that don't know, don't know what it feels like it feels like a really really strong menstrual cramp I'm sorry oh my gosh it's not horrible but it's they're getting a lot stronger than what they were And they're getting harder for me to talk to. That's how I know things are going to get real a little bit here. So, anyway, I'll be checking back in with you guys in a little bit here. And like I've been doing. So, all right. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys. So, I currently have transitioned myself into my nighttime. 
clothing. Well, not clothing, but to my my hair scarf so my hair won't get all matted in the back. And my glasses so I won't feel uncomfortable when I have my contacts in. You guys, I'm having contractions almost every two minutes now and they're kicking my butt, but I'm trying to stay strong and still do this with no um, pain medication. I have so much pressure in my bottom. It's not even funny. So I'm going to let you guys go so I can handle um, this next contraction that's coming. I'll talk to you guys about my IV and see what I got going on in there in a second. Oh my gosh. It sucks. Alright you guys, so I had baby at 1.15 this morning, now I'm going to eat some breakfast because I'm starving and I don't like hospital food but when you just deliver a baby, like anything sounds good to you. So it's currently 7.40 and he's knocked out and so is my husband. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to eat. I have some raisin bran, um, with some skin milk, fruit grape juice I think this is hot chocolate well the water for the hot chocolate a bagel um, this is ham and cheese casserole and some eggs Where's my cream cheese there's my cream cheese for my bagel some jelly ketchup salt and pepper and I think that's about all I got oh, of course my water there but yeah I um, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna eat and let you guys know everything went good and I'm so excited to introduce baby to you guys coming soon here so um, if you guys are new to our channel don't forget to comment like subscribe hit the notification bell so every time I post a video you guys will see I thank you guys so much for being so supportive you guys hear my husband snoring thanks for being so supportive and um, coming with us on this journey um, I will see you guys again here soon when I post a new video bye